Welcome everybody. We are out in the Arizona desert today checking out Castle Dome Mine and this little ghost town out in the middle of nowhere. It's located about 40 miles past Yuma. And it's about 10 miles off the highway 85. So let's get this adventure started. <music> So this is an old miner's town that was around in the 1800s, developed in the 1800s, and in the 1970s it was all left vacant and some really cool people have come together and brought a bunch of these buildings together and made this little ghost town. That's really neat. They got a lot of really cool artifacts here. It is a little bit off the road, but it's definitely worth it. You gotta come out here and check it out. Here's this really, really old train car next to a mine shaft. And it says it's 16 feet deep. Let's see. Whoa. That is rather deep. This is Adam's cabin. There's Adam. Playing his guitar. Ooh, this is little. How would you like to live here, Amanda? This is little. No, thank you. Ooh, creaky floor. Medicine cabinet. All the fine essentials, elixirs. Wood burning stove. MJB coffee. Man is ringing the school bell. Time for school. So this is the main area here. They have a bunch of little cabins with all kinds of stuff. This is the diggers room. All kinds of rope and it says Portland cement on it. That's weird. With all the old tools. Yeah. So now we're going to go on a waltz. Oh. Hello! Shave and a haircut. This guy's getting a trim. Bunch of old shaving stuff in the cabinet here. Wow. Crazy. Leather strap for sharpening your blade. Careful, it's a big wooden missile. And a big steel missile. And a big casing. It has all kinds of tools. And spent and some unspent bullets on a chain. A whole bunch of casings over here on this shelf. This is neat. What is inside here? Here's all kinds of names all over the inside of here for military people. That is really neat. Now we're going back a little bit farther. Looks like an old stove there. I'm not sure. Should we go this way? A There's cart. a gas pump. Oh, yeah, a little handcart. There's some equipment back there in a big shed. Air compressor. This must be the auto shop. Little tricycle. Looks like something out of the shining. Looks like two little girls at the end of a hallway. Oh yeah, this is a little auto shop in here. Wow. There's no one really out here, it's just kind of a self-guided tour. Except for the mannequins. Lots and lots of mannequins. Cigarette machine. Ooh, a cigarette machine. I haven't seen one of those in a long, long time. Looks like a little cafe diner in here. And this is Molly. There's Molly hanging out in the cafe. Hi, Molly. What's for lunch? Watch your head. Mmm. Bunch of old zip. A bunch of really old Zippo lighters. That is really cool. A bunch of old little pistol. Bunch of little pistols and Zippo lighters and all kinds of things. A lot of you won't know what this is, but that is an old oil fill spout. Oil would come in a little metal can and you would smash that through the top and pour out your oil. And that is a really old flashlight right there. Rocking the American flag. America. See, there you go. There's actually a demonstration of it. There's uh, the old metal can and there's a little spout. 
stuck inside of it. All right, we're gonna walk back to the mill works room now. Ooh, a bloody knife. What the heck? Inside, you will see two characters, one standing with a bloody knife and the other one dead on the floor. That's kind of creepy. I don't see anyone on the floor. Oh, there. Yeah, no, nope, there is someone on the floor. Right there. Oh. Wow. Just, just witnessed a murder. Alright, so now we're going to go check out the mill works. Wow, that is an old stagecoach. That is cool. It's not a stagecoach, I'm sorry, it's a wagon. Wow, that is really neat. Wow, look at, look at this old mill right here. Woo! Bunch of old machinery in here. And a fire extinguisher, that's good. Always have a fire extinguisher. And the guy over there sleeping on the job. Look at this big old machinery right here. Amanda's going to the bar. She's had enough. Go check out the merchantile shop. See what kind of merchantile they got. Ooh, look at that big old oven. That is nice. That's actually a really nice oven. It's in great condition. Wow. You wanna go to the dentist? Doc Carter. Is that a plunger? I'm not sure what that is. Have a good variety of vegetables. Perfume bottles, really old school perfume bottles. There's an old dentist chair. Ooh, that looks painful. A bunch of really old bottles. That is a scary dentist in there, isn't it? Yeah. It has teeth on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, it does have little dentures on there, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. They actually, they have a lot of buildings out here. Not sure where we're gonna be able to see all of it today. A church. Let's go see what's in the church. Big pipe organ. What the? Ooh, man is ringing the church bell. That's awesome. Uh huh. Do you see it? Yeah, it's projecting on the back of the pews. Amanda rang the church bell. She's happy. I am happy. That is a the hotel. That's a big hotel over there. And you know, we need a hotel room for that, so let's go check out the hotel. That's a really big building actually. I'm excited to go in there. But first I gotta go in the sheriff's office. Amanda's in there. Hope she's not in trouble. By the law. Breaking the law. Oh, she's in jail. Where's the little cup so I can like... Ding. Amanda's in jail. Where's the puppy? What puppy? Oh, there's ain't Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> oh, there's a casket. That's creepy. Are you in jail, really? Oh, look at the handcuffs. I'm free. Yay, I freed you. There's a guy in there. Be careful. We don't want to be in there. There's a 310 to Yuma. We're going to go to the prison tomorrow. We are in the hotel now. Big old bearskin rug up there. Wow, upstairs. Got bedrooms. I can't go up there though, I got it chained off. But we got a saloon down here. Old piano. It's me. Little lounge area, cocktail area. The saloon. This is really neat. A little spit bucket here. Here we go. I'm gonna just put my foot down here and hang out at the bar. And give me a sarsaparilla. Man is playing the piano. Sounds ominous. Oh, these guys are playing poker. No one at the table though. Ooh, a roulette table. She does not look like she's winning. Creek, 
Foam Castle City. That's where we're at. There's the blacksmith's quarters. And I don't know what's in here. Oh, this looks like this looks like a fabric area. It is a dress shop, Amanda said. Lottie's dress shop. Very fancy. There's Lottie herself. Look at all the pretty dresses she's made. Amanda, you look so good in all of these. in the blacksmith's quarters. It's one I'm more familiar with, a bunch of metalworking. They got a big old bellow to fire the kiln, to heat up the metal, to be able to work it so it's malleable. Very neat. Chain hanging down. And there's a big, oh wow, that's a really old school mill. That's a machining mill there, really, really old school. Wow. We're gonna go across a bridge now. Dried up creek. And another dried up creek. It's a 70s this way. I don't know what that is. Saws. Bought and sold. So if you want a saw, this is where you come. They have a bunch of them. Hanging up. Bunch of, bunch of, bunch of saws. All different kinds of saws. And this must be his quarters that the saw maker lives in where he makes all of his saws. How neat. The saw maker is also a piano player, I've just discovered. And he has a very nice brown hat. And a gray pot. On the patio of this old cabin, there's a really, really old, old school washing machine. That's to wring out your clothes up on the top before you put them in the line to dry. Ooh, inside the cabin. Oh, that's actually really big. Wood burning stove. Your green rider wagon. Your meat press. Salt and pepper shakers. Got your raggedy and dolls on the chair here. Look at that. Old school nail trimmers. Your dog's best friend. And there they are. And there's a dog collar, studded dog collar. There's another dog collar too. And a picture of a kitty. This is the cookhouse. Meals all hours of the day. It's like Denny's. They're open 24 hours. A little darker though. A little darker than Denny's. But they got the plates already. And the, and the forks and the knives. Old chair, do not sit. I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of rickety. Let's not do that. We got the sarsaparilla on the table. Well, that's a really nice table out there at the window. How do we get out there? That's like reserved seat. That's like first class out there. Got the china and the glass out there. Got the tin on here. Menu is cactus stew, beans, and biscuits and gravy and coffee. Biscuits and gravy and coffee sound really good. I don't know about the cactus stew. Whoo, this old kitchen back here. Jars. Pots and pans hanging up. Very neat. Here's another bar. They like their bars in this town. There's some spent shells, a bird cage. There's the barkeep. How you doing, barkeep? Dollar eighty for a drink, it says. I can afford that. Dollar eighty for a drink. This is the cantina. Beer is two bits. Don't know how much a bit is. There's a really big piece of mining equipment. Wow. That's neat. Oh, there's a mine. Walking behind the buildings now. Because it says there's a mine shaft down here. Let's watch our steps because it's kind of loose gravel. And this is the Griffin Drift Mine. Ooh, that door's seen better days. It's really low. Oh, low bridge, low bridge. Oh, this is really low and dark. I'm not sure how far back I want to go. Seeing as how, oh, the light turned on automatically. Oh, it's got a sensor. That's cool. All right, let's see. Oh, it only goes that far back. So it's got it's this glass. It's got all kinds of stuff they found in here, apparently. And miner's tools. Old pickaxes and stuff like that. 
early candle holders shaped out of wire. That's really neat. What do you think of this, Amanda? It's pretty interesting. I was reading, it says that the um, they went in, a, uh, in an unexplored shaft that, that they know of, um, like the last unexplored one, and it says that everything that's in here was found the way that they left it back in 1919. Ooh, that's a long time ago. There's a miner's hat. Oh wow, it is all glowy. Whoa, look at that. It's all like black light. The Castle Dome. The Castle Dome Mountain contains large amounts of fluorescence. That's really neat. The lady in the front was telling us that next year they're going to have a mine shaft actually open that's full of all kinds of fluorescent and bioluminescent uh, materials. We got to come back and see that. That'll be really neat to go down in the shaft about 100 feet, she said, and see all these bioluminescent things. That will be neat. But first, we're going to get out of this. Creepy sheet. Looks like a ghost. Out of here. Out of here! Forget it! We're leaving! We're leaving! Bye! Bye, Amanda! <laughs> I won't leave you. I'm just kidding. It does look like a, it does look like a snack shop. Interesting. Popcorn. Let's all go to the movies. Let's all go to the... Okay, copyright. Can't say that anymore. No, you didn't say it right. It's the lobby. Oh, let's all go to the lobby. You're right. Everything's a dollar. I like it. I like it. Yeah, but back then a dollar was a lot. Oh, it's an actual snack shop. You can actually buy things. That's cool. There's a fridge. All drinks, one dollar. I think that's on. It, it is. That is awesome. That fridge actually works. That's a really old fridge. It works. They're cold. Kinda. Are they cold? They're not like cold, cold, but they're. Yeah. Look. Oh, yeah, that is cold. Shasta. Orange Shasta. Who loves orange soda? Who do you think? Scott loves orange soda. Right here, in the little box. Oh. In the little box, right here. You put, you put the money in the slot. These chairs are neat. Out front of the little snack area. <gasps> they have a dinner bell. Doesn't sound the same. And that was our day at the Castle Dome Mine and Ghost Town Museum. It was a very interesting day. There was definitely a lot of different buildings to go in and out of, a lot of detail, definitely a lot of history from the past that was very interesting to read and just kind of see what it was like back in the day. And we really do hope you guys enjoyed our day with us. It was definitely interesting. We will be coming back next year when they open up the other mine with all the fluorescent minerals. It will definitely be a sight to see and we look forward to it. Please like and subscribe. And you can also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at The Scott Venture. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.